Hey all, Times here, back playing some more Planet Zoo, and welcome back to Tigwadoo Zoo. So this is episode 8 of my Canadian-based zoo, and super, super excited for this one. A bunch of things happening as usual. Uh, we've got two episodes coming fairly soon, uh, and I've been doing a lot of backstage work, a lot of preparation for uh, the further growth of the zoo, um, and actually really kind of handy because they... North America pack has just been announced um, at, at the point where I'm recording this and so yeah we've got loads of things coming from Tigadoo really soon. Uh, this one is building on from some of the things that I added in the last episode. So if you remember to the last episode uh, I added the meerkat habitat and the aardvark habitat uh, and a large kind of toilet block and building. Uh, so this is continuing on from that building really. Just to the right of the camera there, you can see the just the very edge of the aardvark habitat. So I was working around with a few ideas, uh, playing around with this idea of, of kind of having some backstage admin areas uh, for for actually kind of the, the admin of the zoo, obviously staff only. Um, and yeah, so I thought I'd add, add this kind of fire escape thing in that I built, uh, and then we're moving inside the the office space itself so yeah this all moves pretty quickly along I basically I just wanted lots of details I'd love to see more of these kind of backstage things I always think the the um you yeah, know the prefab buildings are so good but you know they're obviously quite limited in terms of what you can do with them so yeah just making a bit of a ceiling here this is supposed to be like ceiling tiles basically uh, and this is this this building in particular is split into three main areas uh, which we're going to see so there's kind of a just like an office section uh, there's a security room and then there's um like a like a kind of tank room like a uh yeah for for, for reptiles and and you know insects and that sort of thing i think there's probably going to be a couple more of these i'm not sure if i'll find space for them um but yeah something you see a lot of in zoos and obviously we don't see them very much in the game uh, just working on the security room now uh, so this was really is all about this this kind of security desk so using the small exhibit screens uh, just to be like the smallest screens there's obviously the smallest screens you can get in the game so if I'd use them a bunch you'll see that much more in the uh, real-time tour as we get towards that putting in a few partitions it's quite a big space actually once I'd started to look at it it's quite a big a big old space um so I've pulled in I, I have to admit I did I used some assets off the workshop here so you'll see those again in a sec but the the actual desk set and things uh, I pitched off the workshop so links to those will be in the description um and then we're starting to work on the actual these little insect tanks so all implied obviously nothing Nothing real going in here, too small for any actual animals to be used. Uh, but they're supposed to be kind of, I don't know, like they could be like rodents or they could be frogs or something. So I built the actual tank, the small tank there, putting some shelves in. Uh, I just wanted this to feel like it was cluttered. It felt like a little cluttered space um, for, a, for a vet or someone to work in. So yeah, six tanks up there and I think I'll do some more details to them. And then there's a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of more details around the rest of this room that we'll move on to in a second. So yeah, the trick with these sorts of things is obviously, I think I've said this in a previous episode, but making sure that when you build a building, you've got you've got kind of hidden voids uh, in the walls. So you'll see a bunch of times when I'm kind of recessing something into a wall. Uh, and so what I do, the trick that I use is tend to have fake walls in a bunch of places so you have kind of a double skin wall and that gives you the ability to, be able to hide something in the wall that doesn't stick out into another part of the building if that makes sense so yeah i put the i put the doors in and then all these glass doors and i was sort of like okay yeah but you want to be able to hide you want to be able to actually open them i thought i'd have one that looked like it was kind of open so i had to add some more details to just to make it look like there was kind of some sliding panels in there Getting the rocks in was obviously kind of tricky because they're huge compared to these tanks. Not a lot I could do with really putting details into these little tanks. It's all pretty simple. Just a bit of grass and a, a bit of rock and stuff. Just trying to imply that they're a little bit different, but not 
bothering too much. Um, they're, they're pretty simple little designs. Uh, these are will be, will be up on the workshop. They might be a little bit tricky to use because, as I said, you need to kind of hide them against a wall, for example. You need to have kind of them uh, recessed against the wall so that you don't have all the bits sticking out the back. So that was just me adding a little kind of vent in there, adding some tiled floors because this is going to be a space, as you can see, I've put a, I've now put a vet down in here just on a floating path so he doesn't move. Putting some tiles down for the floor because obviously this is going to be a kind of a clean space. And putting some little labels in just so that the, the vets know what they are uh, in each tank. Uh, and yeah, as, as usual, there's like a bunch of stuff that happens kind of along the edges. You see that like, yeah, you know, randomly a, a, an extra little jump on. So just putting some switches in and some details and things into these rooms. You can see I've put a set of shelves up there and a, a little made a little bin and a little place to put some clipboards and things. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this one. It's obviously a bit short. There's not going to be loads in the real time tour when we get to that because uh, it's not loads to see, but it's kind of heavily detailed. Um, next episode is going to be probably a bit longer because there's quite a lot more in that one. Uh, back, again, backstage stuff, but uh, quarantine and um, loading dock and that sort of thing, which is all super exciting. Uh, moving into the next one then. So this was a slightly larger tank. This is supposed to be for like, a, I don't know, frogs or something. That, that um, You know, it's sort of funny. I think I've, I've said about this before, but yeah, I'd love to see I'd love to see more range in the exhibit animals so that we can have smaller tanks, um, you know, for for birthing and all that sort of thing. It's sort of something that's not really supported in the game and it's such a massive thing in zoos. You know, the stuff, the work that goes on behind the scenes um, in kind of preservation of the species efforts and all that sort of stuff is pretty huge and, you know, what we have is pretty simple. Uh, mainly just the size. I always think it's just be easy just to... You know, give us exactly the same animals, but in smaller boxes would be great. So there's a there's a slightly larger tank. Uh, it's mostly there. I did a few more bits and pieces to this. Again, this will be up on the workshop. Um, and as you saw, sort of all built out of that Australia pack uh, sign piece. So you see me switching the colour of it there. Mainly because that's a nice... It's probably one of the thinnest pieces in the game. Um, and now moving on to something you can see in the background there I've got. I think that's just Goron's um, radiator down in the right. You can see it, but I sort of made, decided to make my own. I wanted to make my own, um, see if I could do it. Just decided I wanted a slightly different looking one. Uh, his is really cool, but I think I just decided I wanted to see if I could do my own. So made out of gutter pieces, pretty simple. Um, and then I decided I wanted to uh, have a variation of these. So yeah, some, there's a... There's a slightly larger one coming. And these are probably quite easy to put together into larger versions if you wanted to. Um, one thing that occurred to me as I was doing it was um, having looked at uh, the, the few different options that are on the workshop. None of them had valves. So I was like, I kind of want to be able to add a control in so it looks like it's um, you know, something that you can turn a handle of. So using the, the bike, the front of the bike there. So that's supposed to be like a hot and cold <laughs> code hold cold dials so uh, and then we're into the main bit of the office again so as i said this is all one part of the same building so you'll see this all in more detail and see how this kind of fits in in context with the other stuff in the real time tour which is coming up any minute so i'll leave you up with that for the last few seconds guys a lot 30 seconds or something uh, and then i will join you again for the tour Right, welcome back to the tour. So we started just on the um, just on the ramp here. And there's a bunch of stuff that is done. Um, well, mostly done, but I'm not going to be showing you in this episode. So there's a bunch of things that we're going to be kind of avoiding as we go round. I made a couple of little changes here. I've added a little Canadian maple leaf up there, uh, which I think looks all right. Might stick that on the workshop at some point. Uh, but we're heading down this way, so down the side of the entrance building is where that 
uh, new security building and everything is so push on down here uh, you see this fence line is all new uh, filled out all this foliage and stuff we're going to push through this little stuff only barrier uh, and if you remember from the last episode we added all all this in uh, so this is the new building as you can see there's some satellite dishes and stuff up on the top you'll see that when we do a bit of a flyover uh, and then to the right through that gate is where we're not going to be going but we're just going to have a little look down here just to give a bit of context as to where we are so there is the uh, the aardvark habitat and the meerkat habitat hopefully we can just kind of peek through there is it going to let me down off there yeah it will so there's the there's the aardvarks there's the meerkat habitat over there so we're going in here um, as you can see i've filled out all these flower beds now Okay, so inside here, so it's all a bit tight and a bit cramped, uh, all a bit kind of backstage crampedness. So, so there's my radiators. I think those are looking good. Those are the double radiators. Uh, and as I said, this is the, this is kind of the little one of the little admin areas. There might be another one. I'm not sure. This might be it. This, so this is supposed to be like zoo management, um, etc. As I said, this. Um, desk set and the chair and the the, uh, the keyboard and things are all off the workshop I've added a few little embellishments from to to it made a couple of extra little bits and pieces set of little staff lockers uh, that I made ages ago for the tropical dome and we have some blinds I think those looked all right I think that ceiling looks all right it's supposed to look like as I said it's supposed to look like it's kind of tiled roof uh, almost like a uh, a lowered roof so yeah a couple of little stations oh i forgot i made this yeah so i made this little i didn't have this in the speed build but i made this little kind of water cooler as well uh, which i'll probably use in a bunch of places uh, and then if we do a right turn here and zoom through this door so this is the security room uh, so we have a security guard here just chilling out getting some more shelves uh, and then we we have the screens. So I've picked up. So this is using the um, using the security camera footage. Basically, how you do that is if you just record record that bit of video, and then you just place it back in the in the right files and stuff. But you can see this security guard is actually also watching <laughs> watching the baseball, having a cup of tea. Uh, his mates out on patrol somewhere. Yeah, they work really well. Occasionally, they, the, the screens occasionally just like drop out and go black. Sometimes I log in, everything's black, but that's pretty well. Made this little keyboard thing that's supposed to be like a control for it as well. So yeah, pretty happy with the way that turned out. Obviously, having the dude just sort of chilling there makes a, makes a real difference as well. He does actually kind of cool because he doesn't actually look like he's watching the baseball, but occasionally he glances across to his job. <laughs> Right, so if we go through the last door then, we do a little another right turn here. I what tried to force me up on the roof. So this is the last of the rooms. Uh, so there's the vet. As I said, yeah, so it's supposed to be like these are little implied habitats, supposed to be like their little heated tanks for spiders or whatever you want to imagine is going in them. So they've got like little vents and things. Pretty simple. Um, and then there's the big tank at the back so I'm not sure what this is for but uh, these are really weird if you look at the way that these behave but yeah see the they do that weird little glitch thing but uh, and then there's a little bit more foliage in there and stuff but as I said it's quite difficult to get an amount of um, it's quite difficult to get much in there because they're obviously pretty small and then they're just like a little plastic uh, plastic implied thing as well so we'll just show you this in context try not to not to show you the stuff that I'm not ready to reveal yet so there's my my satellite dish uh, unfortunately there's a load of light leakage into and it comes out of the buildings there which I might do something about at some point but I don't know so yeah that's supposed to be uh, this door supposed to be accessed both into the habitat and to in theory out to this fire escape so I ended, actually ended up adding a door 
there as well. Uh, and that's how you access this this top section of the meerkats because I realized that there was no way of doing doing that. This back section, I think you can get to, yeah, you can get to that that section there. Uh, and the last bit I'll, I'll share is that I've started moving down the hill a little bit, so I added a little staircase and things. That's just the edge of that, that habitat. So there's a ramp coming down. Uh, yeah, so as I said, there'll be one coming again soon, hopefully next week, uh, for all the stuff that I'm not showing you here behind me. But yeah, it's coming along. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Much appreciated. Um, and yeah, looking forward to the to the additions that we'll make with the North America pack coming soon. Take it easy.